Today I've got a nice problem from the 2017 Australian Intermediate Math Olympiad. And it's a cool little geometry problem. So let's see what we've got. So triangle ABC is divided into four regions with line segments parallel to BC. So these divide AB into four equal parts. If the second largest region has area 225, what is the area of the entire triangle? Of course, in order to get started with this type of geometry problem, it will be extremely useful to make a picture. So let's maybe translate this paragraph into a diagram. Okay, there we go. We've got our triangle A, B, C. It's been divided into one, two, three, four regions by these lines that are parallel to BC. And even though my picture isn't perfect, we want to consider these equally spacing line segment AB. So that means this length right here should be the same as this length, which is the same as this length, which is the same as this length. And now let's get into our calculation. So I'm going to introduce maybe a little bit of... So I'm going to introduce some measurements into this. So first I'll drop a perpendicular from our point A down to line segment BC. So let's see, that would look something like that. So that'll be perpendicular here, but because of our parallel condition, that's gonna be perpendicular to all of these. Furthermore, I'm gonna give us some measurements here. I'll call this H1 for like height one. So the height of this smallest triangle. Then I'll call this thing right here H2 for the height of our next smallest triangle. Finally, this distance right here will be H3. And then this entire distance right here will be H4. Then I'll give the measurement of these segments, B1, B2, B3, and B4 for base. So here we'll call this one B1, we'll call this one B2, this one right here will be length B3, and then this one down here will be length B4. Now, another thing I'll do is give a definition for these points of intersection. So here I'll call this P1, P2, P3, and then I'll call this point over here Q1, Q2, and Q3. And let's notice by the parallel condition of P3, Q3 with BC, P2, Q2 with BC, and P1, Q1 with BC gives us a similarity condition for the triangles. So I'll put that right here. So let's notice that triangle um, A, I'll call it PI, QI is similar to triangle A, B, C. So that means all of these triangles in this picture are similar to each other. So A, P1, Q1, A, P2, Q2, A, P3, Q3, and finally A, B, C. But that gives us a proportionality rule about the length of the segments which are building these triangles. First of all, it tells us that H2 is equal to 2 times H1. And we know that because AP1 is half of AP2. So all of the corresponding measurements will be multiplied by half. The linear measurements, I should say. And furthermore, we have B2 is equal to 2 times B1. H3 is equal to 3 times H1. And B3 is equal to 3 times B1. So that would be like the comparison of this length right here, so P3, Q3 with P1, Q1, given that the length from A to P3 is three times the length from A to P1. And then finally, we know H4 is equal to four times H1, and B4 is equal to four times B1, for the same sort of reason. So now let's see what we're given. So we're given that 225 is equal to the area of which triangle? Well, it's the third largest triangle minus the second largest triangle. So that's going to be the area of triangle A, P3, Q3 minus the area of triangle A, P2, Q2. Great. Because this 225 is not the area of a triangle, it's the area of this little slice right here. 
But now that's going to be equal to one half um, B3 H3 minus one half B2 H2. But now using our similarity condition, we can put all of that in terms of H1 B1 and this boils down to 5 over 2 H1 B1. But then that gives us a value for the product of H1 B1. So we can easily calculate that H1 B1 is in fact equal to 90. And we get that just by multiplying by two and dividing by five. But H1 times B1 equals 90 means that the area of this smallest triangle up here is equal to 90 over two or 45. And then we can use the similarity of the triangles, which we discussed over here, to find the area of the entire triangle. So based off of our notation, the area of the whole triangle will be 1 half B4 times H4. So let's finish it all off. So area of the entire triangle, so triangle ABC, which recall that was our final goal, should be equal to 1 half B4 times H4. But our similarity condition, once again, tells us that that is 4 times 4 times h1 times b1. 4 times 4 is clearly equal to 16 over 2. That gives us to 8 h1 times b1. But we determined that h1 times b1 was 90. So in the end, we get 720 for the area of this entire triangle. Now, if you've liked this video, I've got several other fairly elementary geometry problems on the channel if you'd like to check them out. One particularly popular one is on the screen right now, and that's a good place to stop.